That's RJ's mom. That's my tatay. Hello, po. Good morning. This is RJ's dad. Hey, guys. Welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. What's up, Mabuhay Squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? Hope so. Mabuhay Squad, welcome to another vlog here at the Mabuhay Squad farmhouse. Yes, it's a beautiful morning. And guys, guess who's here this morning? Welcome to another vlog. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning. Guys, Hi. this is Kathy C. King, our interior designer. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So yeah. she's styling and designing Good now. Good yeah, designing all the rooms, going through all the rooms, making sure the styling is on point. So Kathy has been working with RJ in terms of uh, designing our entire place. Um, RJ runs uh, decisions through Kathy because she's got an awesome eye for color, for texture, for design. She's attended one of the most prestigious, if not the most prestigious design school here in the Philippines. Philippine School of Interior Design. Yes. So, I mean, it's undeniable, the talent. And guys, look, this is the carpet we chose for this room. Kathy was also with us when we chose these pillows. Um, a bunch of stuff actually. We've spent many long hours and days over the years shopping for stuff for this house. By the way guys, this here is the parents room. We built a room on the first floor so that, you know, the parents don't have to climb the stairs to get to their room. And it comes complete with its own bathroom. Right there. With handlebars and everything. And all the well, most of the pieces here in this room are by Filipino designer Ito Kish. You saw in a previous vlog when we went shopping at his store. He's got some really amazing stuff. Like, look at these chandeliers, this bed. That is Ito Kish, that stool. This is Ito Kish, so is this. Okay, I'm gonna let them do their thing. I'm not gonna distract them by vlogging. It's time for coffee, guys. Just woke up and I'm ready to start the day. It's a beautiful morning. Let me open the curtains. Ideally, these curtains will be voice command. I'll just ask the name whose name rhymes with Balexa. I don't want to say her name right now because then all of your Balexas will be activated. Anyways, yes, coffee, shall we? The secret serum to having a happy, happy life. All right. Cheers, Mabuhay Squad. Yes. Ah, love coffee. Freshly ground beans. So for those of you who are new, this Mabuhay Squad farmhouse um, is the house my partner RJ and I built um, over the past five years, almost. And um, we're reaching the end. Uh, adding some final touches around the home, finishing up a, a bit of construction in the backyard, and then um, we're gearing up for a big sort of like full house tour reveal. Um, and as I mentioned in the last vlog, um, several, well several, there have been media personalities who've reached out to RJ and I um, to come check out the place, come check out our home. Um, and feature it on their platforms, I guess, their channels. Uh, so really kind of nervous about that. Um, but for this channel, I also wanted to do a full house tour to, you know, present the home to you guys um, and just have it on record that, yes, we've reached the end of a five-year journey of hard work. Long, it, guys, building this house felt like a slow crawl. And for a lot of it, it was like such a slow bleed. I think it wasn't until this year, actually, that things started to feel <sighs> not so much like a bleeding process. <laughs> um, but it started to be s slightly enjoyable, you know? It started to get more enjoyable, you know, picking the decor and stuff. Like, this is the kind of the fun part. Okay, we're going through the living room. Guys, I love watching professionals 
doing their work. There's nothing I love more than watching pros like perform their craft. It's really amazing. So she makes sure to take photos because something might look good in person, but in photos, not so good. And the reason why that matters is because we're gonna do a house tour, guys, like on video, so. It's exactly what I do for my Ants Canada terrariums when I build terrariums. A terrarium design might look good in real life, but it might possibly, due to shadows and colors and whatever factors, it might not look good in video. So it's always good to check by taking photos of the design. Oh, oh there, wow. Guys, this is Tess, the assistant of Kathy. Hi Tess, good morning. So guys, this is the aviary. Ooh, it looks so good without all of the stickers and swirls. See guys, our aviary is legit now. It's just glass and the birds have not killed themselves. I mean, they've had almost a year to like learn that there's glass here. Good morning, birds. How are you? Did you sleep well? I hope so, birdies. These are the blue-naped parrots. My beautiful blue-naped parrots. And up there is a crimson-bellied conure. There's another crimson-bellied conure. And another crimson-bellied conure. Hi, birds. I just wanted to come in and say hi. So guys, this here is Clara. Um, and if you've been following the vlogs for a while, you know that she came to me with missing primary wing feathers and like just like one or two tail feathers and then those last two tail feathers broke off. So she was unable to fly and join her two flock mates for most of her life. But during her, after her last molt, um, as you can see, She's got tail feathers now, and I believe a lot of primary feathers. She still needs a few feathers more to grow. Still learning to fly. Look at those beautiful wing feathers now. She's still like learning to fly properly. She's kind of delayed actually, guys, with her like learning comprehension, wing flapping comprehension. <laughs> Uh, she isn't the best flyer because she went through a lot of her life without wing feathers and tail feathers. But I guess she's learning. But I'm so happy to see her now with like almost full plumage. It's great. I was actually kind of worried, guys. See, she's like trying to fly. She's spreading her wings, but she isn't quite confident yet. She's fallen many times as she's like learned to fly. But I know she'll get it eventually. But when she came to us um, with all these missing feathers, I was pretty upset. Um, I even called the breeder to like ask what happened. And apparently there was a mix up and we got an older bird. So she was over a year old by the time she got to us. Um, and then I get like, I wanted a young bird like the others but she was the only female left, and I had requested for two females and one male, so there was kind of a mix-up, um, which is okay, because I ended up falling in love with Clara. But I was a bit worried, because when birds are missing feathers, it could be because they're barbing them, like they're actually breaking them off with their beak, which could be a sign of like a health problem. So I was scared that maybe like she had, I don't know, fatty liver disease. It could have been a whole bunch of other like health related stuff. So inside I was like, man, there's probably a good chance that Clara will not make it if there is an underlying health problem. <laughs> Gabriella came to fly and then she flew back. Um, but we put Clara on a top Top, top nutritional diet for birds. Um, you guys know we go the extra mile with feeding our birds variety. Just so if she did have an underlying health problem, there would, you know, she would recover. And as you can see, look, feather quality back. She's been getting a lot of awesome sunlight here in the aviary. So for those of you who are new, our aviary is shielded. Like there's a mesh but the birds get full sunlight. 
And, uh, and again, diet. It goes a long way, guys, for birds if you invest in choosing variety and good, good um, dietary choices for the birds. It really shows in their feathers. Right, Gabs? Anyway, that's the story of Clara here. She's uh, well on the way to recovery. And this here is Gabriella, the tamest of all our parrots. Hi, Gabs. She's looking down here at the ground. I think the birds notice a difference. We removed the platforms here. And this here is our handsome male preening himself. He's grooming. This is Marcelo. Hi, Marcelo. And he is the most talkative of all our parrots. And finally, the birds land. <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh, she's going for my earrings. No, no biting of the studs, please. No. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they all come. When one of them comes, they all come. Okay, how about you guys perch on the bamboo? Go. Ah, bamboo. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get out while I still can. I'll see you guys later. Having an aviary is one of the coolest things ever. Seriously, there's never a dull moment. If you just sit here and watch the birds, they're hilarious. Ooh, guys, this is the green room. They're rearranging pillows now. Ooh. Guys, I love this green room. And a lot of you guys do too. Um, we've set up the television there. We find it looks perfect there. As we saw in our last vlog, we're thinking of putting it there. But we set it up there and it looked so weird there, guys. Like it was just so out of place. Now, we've set it up there. People will just have to watch TV on the side. We went to great lengths to make sure everything matched. Like, see this platform here? This was originally light brown, like natural wood color. And then we stained it. We varnished it to make it match the wood of the bed and wood everywhere else in the room. This green room is a vibe, and it's exactly how I imagined it. We got some plants here, and in this green room, because it's up in the trees and like See, look, if you move here, it's got a corner, corner window. And if you stand here, you can actually see birds in the trees. We have um, these beautiful birds, as you've seen in previous vlogs, called black naped orioles. They're bright yellow. And they like, they come here in the trees, early morning and at sunset. It's really beautiful. So we have these binoculars for our guests staying here to bird watch. They can, they can look up into the trees and spot birds. I'm thinking of creating a chart of some of the more common birds that they can find outside. Maybe put it on a frame up here so that, you know, people can try to spot the most common birds here at the Mabu High Squad farmhouse. Wouldn't that be cool? The pool is looking really good right now, guys. <gasps> I want to get in. Oh, maybe after the gym, we'll swim. We'll swim together in Mabu High Squad. Guys, we just realized that this plastic cover was not part of the lamp. There. Oh, that looks so much better. <laughs> I really love this mirror. This is a nice, nice mirror. It's unique. Like, it really fits. Guys, have a look at this plant. It's so strange. So it's like, it grows this huge trunk, see? And then from it are these little sparse long leaves. Interesting, right? We have another one right here. Isn't that such a strange plant? So RJ has an affinity for weird looking plants. Like, the weirder it is, the more RJ likes it. Like guys, here's the ant room. There's a plant I want to show you guys. Look at this one. You saw this in a previous vlog, I think. Look at this plant. <laughs> Look. So strange. What a weird plant, right? Sorry, I don't mean to offend you, plant. I love you. You're not weird, you're unique. <laughs> This ant room gets a lot of sunlight every day. Any plants, guys, that is here in the ant room gets amazing sunlight. Like, literally, like, see this? This here is my 
nursery for little plants that I can use for terrarium building. And I literally just place it here in this little corner and it gets enough light. It's such a great room for natural sunlight. Guys, let's check this nest box. It looks like no birds have decided to move in yet. One day, Mabuhay Squad, we'll look here and there will be a nest. Gosh, guys, I swear that pool is calling. Looks like now is grooming hour for the birds. See, they're all grooming now. That's hilarious. You had a feather in your mouth. Go ahead, keep grooming. I don't mean to disturb you birds. There's Clara being a good girl, grooming her feathers. They're working on the common bathroom now. See? I love this bathroom, guys. It's so spacious and just good energy all around. Like, even when this was all just hollow blocks and this place was just being built and it was all dusty and gross, like, I already knew this had a good energy, this spot in the house. So, you know, our guests can enter and have a lot of space and feel pampered. It's got some really cool spa feels. Ooh, and I like this. See, so cute. This here is one of my favorite of the guest rooms, the yellow room. Oh, it feels so nice and cool with the air conditioning on. Oh, they might lower the art. Oh, we might lower those pieces. This is the yellow room. This is the carpet we've added to the yellow room. Those banigs are not for the room, but we have them here because RJ's family is coming. This here is the new suitcase um, stand that matches, see the color of the wood? It matches all the wood of this room. Hi birdies. Yes, hi birdies. Guys, look, the birds totally follow wherever people go. So if I sit here on these Chiquita stools, they will come fly here, watch. Oh guys, Clara is up here. I would have loved to see you fly up here, Clara. Nice to see you up in the heights. Here they come, see? <laughs> Hi. Hi there. Welcome to this side. I love how gregarious and like outgoing and sociable the birds are, but then they have squabbles, see? You birds don't have to fight over me. So the aviary, as we planned, is viewable from 360 degrees from all guest rooms. We could just stand here and watch the birds. As soon as you emerge from the guest rooms, the aviary is the first thing you see. And that is how we envisioned it when we conceptualized the design. And it's perfect, really good energy. It also brings a lot of good natural sunlight into the home, which is good for mood, of course, and just good, good all around. Sunlight is great. We're also starting to remove the stickers, these anti-bird collision decals, uh, because the birds, I think, know glass. They understand this is glass, so let's start removing them now. Okay guys, here we go, master bedroom. This is the living room area of our master bedroom. By the way, if you're new, this is where Arj and I sleep. <laughs> We've created like a miniature apartment or condo uh, in case we just wanna escape from the world and stay here. Cause there are days that Arj and I just wanna spend our pretty much the whole day in the bedroom. <laughs> this here is the jacuzzi. There's a hanging uh, swing chair. We've got the master bathroom here. Japanese chair. Oh, heated seats, guys. Underrated. This here is our kitchenette. See? Um, in case we want to have snacks in the night, we don't have to go downstairs. Um, and there's our bed. Ooh. Um, and our backlit marble headboard. And guys, the best night's sleep on this bed. Actually, the most expensive thing in this entire bedroom is this bed. Um, but it's worth it. I mean, our friend Mark Matsuyama told us something that is so true. Like, you spend a quarter of your life in bed. So if you can, invest in a good bed so you could get a good night's sleep. 
Um, and then here is our uh, office slash library. See, we could do work uh, here. And everything is smart. Our entire house is smart, um, powered by LifeSmart PH. Go check them out if you want to smartify your home, because watch. Alexa, headboard off. Alexa, office off. See? These curtains in particular open and shut at the same time every day. So I believe it's like 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. These completely open. And it's kind of like a natural alarm clock. As soon as light enters the room, it, it feels nice to wake up to. Arranging pillows now. Yay. Maybe. <laughs> RJ is excited. He agrees with her choices. This awesome lounge chair is by Loxine Living and we find it's kind of like a nest. It's like a nest lounge chair. Actually, for RJ and I, birds are good luck. Um, so around the home you will see elements of birds. See? Even these doors. If you close the door, it's shaped like an egg. Like see? That's totally an egg. So around the home, we've really injected a lot of bird imagery. I mean, the center of the home is an aviary, right? It's also partially because the reason RJ and I got this place and moved out of our small condo in Manila is because we wanted to have a larger space and home for our late African gray parrot, Ligaya. All of you OG Mabuhay squad who've been following the vlog since we had Ligaya, you guys know, like, this was supposed to be her home too. But sadly, she died from a nervous digestive disease called PDD, which is so sad. Um, but Ligaya is currently buried along this path here um, on the way to the staff house. And that, uh, we call that path Ligaya's path. But she is here. We feel like Ligaya's spirit is here at the Mabuhay Squad Farmhouse blessing the entire property with, you know, her charm. In fact, our entire house, the color palette is gray. See, gray and black and white. Lots of whites, gray and black, with elements of red to represent her tail. See, red, 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 and more red. Rest in peace, Ligaya. We love you and miss you. This aviary was actually supposed to be hers. Oh, I love the pillows there. <gasps> Sweet. So I've decided that I should probably stop showing you um, as we get closer and closer to the completion of these guest rooms and around the house because when we do do the full house tour reveal, you guys will see all the new changes we've made. We hope to film the full house tour reveal uh, sometime this coming week or next week, something like that. Soon. Guys, it's raining <gasps> and the birds love it. Look at them. Now, the birds have full, like they've got several areas where they can hide from the rain, like down there, there's a platform that shades them. Um, there are a few places where they can hide from the rain. And in fact, the conures are probably hiding from the rain, but these blue napes love the rain. They sleep in it. The conures are there. <laughs> the conures prefer to bathe in their water bowl. That's how they get their showers. But they're not fans of the rain for some reason. But every day I see them bathing in their water bowl. These blue napes, of course, are native to the Philippines. So they love Philippine rain. They're used to it. The Conyers are native to South America and the Amazon rainforest, where it also rains a lot, but not too sure. These three do not, I mean, they're not really fans of rain. They prefer to bathe in their own terms. Oh, hi guys. Nice of you to join us. Did it stop raining now? I think it did. And it looks like out comes the sun. <gasps> hi. Hi. <laughs> you got a wet head. <laughs> Look at how bright green those feathers are. This here is Clara. Hi, Clara. Little dinosaurs. My dragons. My beautiful dragons. All right, guys. I'm here at my gym. 
gonna get in a good workout today. Yes, this here is Titan Health and Fitness Gym. And it's a pretty amazing gym, in fact. It's got all the equipment I need to get in a good workout. Let's work out these arms. All right, back from the gym, and it is raining again. Yes. It looks like one of the Conyers is enjoying the bath, not hiding. <laughs> oh, so good. I love watching the birds get soaked, because I know they like it, and it's good for them. Oh, all three Conyers are in the rain. How sweet. I think they're here to look at Sahara, though. What's up, my boy squad? How are you doing? We're here in Poblacion because it's Raquel's birthday. Happy birthday, Raquel. Yes, guys, uh, this is our cousin Raquel. There's Nika, there's Chompai, and <laughs> Ingrid, and Mark. Guys, that's the menu. Scan it. This food here is amazing. It's one of our favorite places here in Metro Manila. There's RJ. We're drinking some cocktails. And guys, check out the food. Seriously, look. Wow. Soft shell crab, guys. Tanigue. Duck coffee. Duck. Oh. What's this? This is um, beef belly Beef belly caldereta. Wow. It's called chichito peppers. Oh, okay. It's not totally spicy. It's not totally spicy. Not totally spicy. Just, just very spicy. Okay. Oh my, look at the beef belly. <gasps> Super. Oh, wow. Super, I think. Yeah, so guys, this place is a fusion, like a Filipino modern twist to like Filipino cuisine, so good. The food here guys is Duck. so good. Soft shell crab. Mm. 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 Guys, the food here at Lampara is five Mabuhay stars. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Make a wish. Yay! Guys, look at the dessert. Oh my. Oh. Oh. Yeah, let's try it. Good? Yeah. Yeah? Five mango high star? It's five mango high star. Love it. Five mango high star. What's up Mabuhay Squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? Guys, so it's gonna be a special few days. Um, downstairs is RJ's family. They traveled all the way here from Pangasinan, um, from uh, their small town in the province Pangasinan, here in the Philippines. And guys, they're staying here. Um, it's a grand occasion because it's RJ's parents' 50th golden anniversary. Isn't that amazing? So um, we've invited them all here to just hang out. They've been swimming all morning. Um, and I'm excited to introduce you to RJ's family, finally. Um, you know, getting RJ's parents here was a big deal because RJ's mom doesn't like to travel. The drive makes her dizzy and that kind of thing. But finally, she's able to be here. Um, and uh, I can't wait to introduce them to you. Now, one thing though that uh, you guys should know is that you know how RJ is extremely, extremely private? Um, well, he is also that way with his family life. He wants to protect the privacy. And so 
you know, it'll be different vlogging than when my family was here and I could introduce every single person and we could get to know every member of the family. Um, I will just be kind of like standing back and vlogging the family as a whole. Um, but I will introduce you to RJ's parents. Hello, hi. Kids are running around. They were playing with the birds earlier. Ooh. Hi, Jane. Oh my gosh, hi. Everyone's hanging out in the living room. <laughs> There's RJ. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Good morning. Bless. See, RJ's family is so traditional. Bless. Bless. Oh, bless. So cute. Bless. 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 Yay. RJ's eating puto for breakfast. Puto in Spanish is a bad word, but in the Philippines, it's, it's a dessert. It's made of rice. Don't threat don't threaten them to Hi Hi bless so cute bless bless Hello bless So guys guess what else They are setting up for a grand lunch Um we asked Amare la cucina to cater today So guys today's going to be a feast this is like a dream. Okay, RJ wants to show you guys something. What? It's called patupat, it's a rice cake. Patupat, rice cake. And it's like wrapped in banana leaves? Coconut. Coconut leaves. And it's baked or grilled? Yeah, it's baked, I think. They steam, I think. They steam. Now that RJ's family's here, they've brought all his favorites, his childhood favorites. Kalashao puto. This is kalashao puto. It's like a special puto from like um, the town Kalashau, which is famous for making their puto. Oh, so that's what the patupat looks like with coconut sugar? Oh my! So say something in Pangasinense. Guys, in case you don't know, the Philippines has like over 200, something like hundreds of native languages, not even dialects, languages, and then even more dialects. So. The province RJ is from is called Pangasinan and they speak Pangasinense there yeah. and Ilocano. So say something in Pangasinense. That's RJ's first language. It's not even Tagalog. Masam so, Masamsamit. Masamsamit, which means? Masarap. Oh, which means yummy. Oh my. Guys, look at the cake RJ got. Happy 50th anniversary. Romeo and Delia. See? From Chef Carrie. Wow. A gold cake. Beautiful. With like edible orchids. So guys, we are doing maintenance on this pot. And I was just looking inside. There are tons of guppies now. Including little baby guppies. I can't see them now. But little tiny babies. They've begun to um, multiply. And apparently there are tadpoles here. Yay! We have a miniature pond already, guys. It's awesome. All right, let's check our herb garden. I don't see any peppers. Guys, I, I planted peppers here the other day. Peppers, where are you? Oh, wait, is that one? Is that a pepper? Wait, no, I planted them in this area. Oh, well, how long does it take for peppers to grow, guys? Isn't it like a couple of days? It's been like four days now. Okay, I need to be patient. I need to let nature do its thing. I'm really excited about the peppers because it's a special type of pepper. <laughs> it's called Sili Demonio. And it's a hybrid between our native like Filipino chili pepper and Carolina Reaper, guys. So I'm excited. Oh man, a big Amarela Cucina team is here setting up. This is going to be awesome. Look at that. Oh, So we're going to have um, chicken. They're gonna have uh, pizza, right? They even have ice cream. Oh wow, gelato. Sweet, hi, welcome. Oh, so cute, I like it. This is gonna be great for the kids. And of course, there is our personal fire oven uh, for pizza making. They're connecting it to gas, but you can also use wood. And look, an ant and an apple. <laughs> I love seeing RJ's family explore. Hi, Blue. Hello. 
This is Blue, RJ's sibling, and what's his name? Jeremy. And Jeremy. Hi, Jeremy, nephew. So we're now, like, educating our dogs. They were barking all morning, but we've just instructed everybody to not run. Just, just hang out while the dogs smell. <laughs> not be scared. They're giving snacks. Go eat. Eat. Oh. I think just the whole <laughs> offering of snacks changes the dynamic. No. Jane? Yeah. No, they're weak. You guys remember Jane? Sahara's warming up. Slowly. Uh, it's mostly kids. Guys, look at Melody snooping around already, looking for food. <laughs> So for those of you who are new, Amare La Cucina is a restaurant that was founded by my cousin Edmark and Nika um, and their family. There are, I don't know, like 13 or 14 locations now, 15 locations all over. And personally, I feel like they are the best pizza in the Philippines, but they're more like Italian fusion. So they've got a lot of stuff and um, they recently offered this new thing where you can have them cater your party, which is fantastic. Again, I love that they can also offer the gelato. It's great. Hey, Melody, what are you doing? They offer amazing cold uh, sweet teas and infused water. There's gonna be a salad station here. Oh, guys. Stay tuned. You guys will be mind blown by this. Look, they make the dough right here for the pizza. And personally, I think this is the best part is it's very interactive. So they have a pizza making station. So like kids can make their own pizzas. They take the dough and they throw it in the air and then they stick it into, you know, they put the toppings on and then they stick it into the uh, fire oven and they get to eat a pizza that they made. It's so interactive and just a great fun activity for the family. I think it's uh, a really great idea. And personally, I just am so happy with the success that Amare has, uh, has seen over the years. Their original location started literally in their house in Baguio. And now they've like branched out to, you know, all these locations. It's just so great. You see what happens, Mabuhai Squad, when you create a business that offers value to people? It just organically explodes. And that's the spirit of running a business. The birds are grooming again. And look, I love when the birds actually play with their toys. It's awesome. They've been doing that more and more lately, probably because they're getting bored of the bamboo. But I heard today they're going to plant the new plants in here. So soon they will have new trees to destroy and kill. I need to get them more toys though because I want to encourage the birds to really play with their toys and not destroy the trees as much as possible. But with birds you can't really train them not to do something like that. They will just do as they please. Oh my gosh guys look! The bamboo is growing! So all it really needs is water like more water than we've been giving it. So guys, this bamboo was obliterated by the parrots, but I've been wanting it to like bounce back because you know, they say bamboo is so quickly growing. It's one of the fastest growing plants ever. And look, look at all the new growths. Go, go, go. Even down here, see? Yay. Survive, survive bamboo. So really the secret is just giving it a ton of water, like tons and tons of water. Guys, look what else they brought, suman. This is, I believe, rice. Also in leaves, cooked in leaves. It's a favorite for Filipinos. Yum. Guys, here's RJ's mom. Introduce your mom. Hi, good morning. Morning. Bless. That's RJ's mom. That's my tatay. Hello, Pot. Good morning. This is RJ's dad. Les. RJ is going to show them upstairs. 
gonna show the bedroom. So this is the first time um, RJ's parents have been to the house. Um, a few of RJ's siblings have been here before. You guys saw in a previous vlog. <laughs> Salamat po. <laughs> <laughs> picture, picture. All right. I feel so proud of RJ showing his family our home. I mean, RJ has worked so hard to make this place look the way it does. Alright guys, they're ready. So Blue is making the very first pizza. So they lay out all the toppings. See, the tomato sauce, the cheese, pineapple. They give you a tutorial. And then you stick it in the oven. They usually bring theirs, but we have our own. And then you get to eat it. And it's a cool thing. Everybody could just watch. Good girl, Sahara. Good girl. This here is the salad station. Ooh, healthy. I'm definitely gonna have some of this. You get to build your own salad. And guys, one of my absolute favorite things on the menu is that. It's pollo frito. Oh, it's so good, guys. It's basically dark meat of the chicken fried. Oh. And with the lemon, it is perfect. Highly recommend it. They prepare the fresh garlic. Can't have enough garlic. This is the funnest part. <laughs> Tossing the dough. <laughs> yeah. Go. They teach you how to toss it into the air so that it stretches the dough evenly. OMG, guys, I can't wait for the truffle fries. Yum. There it is, guys, the pollo frito. <gasps> So good. Oh, they already made a pizza. Yay. This looks like Hawaiian. Oh, this is great. He does it so easily. <laughs> He's a pro. So guys, not sure if you guys can hear, but I've uh, triggered, triggered, I've set off Italian music. Um, we have hidden speakers in our garden, see, and it, there's one right there, and it plays throughout the entire yard. Wanted to uh, set up some Italian music <laughs> to match the Italian food. It's really, really cool having an outdoor sound system. Um, cause I just need to ask Alexa to, uh, play whatever playlist we need. It's a nice ambiance. Oh gosh, guys, that pasta looks delicious. Freshly made pasta. So good. And guys, not sure if you've had it, but pizza directly from a brick oven or a fire oven, there's nothing like it. Like, there's a small time window when the dough has this certain 
I don't know what it is. It's like a certain crisp that when it comes right out of the oven, oh, it's, it's heaven. I'm gonna have some of this. This is Pinoy Boy Pizza, named after uh, the character I created on my comedy YouTube channel, Pinoy Boy. Um, I just put together a pizza for a vlog one time and then you, Mabu High Squad, went to the location of Amare and asked for Pinoy Boy Pizza, so they've added it to the menu. Sarap, Ate. This is Ate LC. I'll try some Pinoy Boy Pizza, guys. My fave. Oh. All right, guys. Let's eat. Mmm. 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 Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. Mabuhay squad. Amare pizza. Five Mabuhay stars. <laughs> Guys, it's so good. I just, I even want to eat the crust. And I usually never eat crust. Mmm. Hi, Eddie. This is Eddie, RJ's brother. Ben, are you happy to see your family? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm happy to see them here too. Guys, let's eat salad. Mm. 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 Yeah. Whoa, Mabuhai squad, look at what arrived. <gasps> Beautiful. This bouquet came to us from Milo's Flowers here in the Philippines. Look. These are all fresh, real flowers, guys. Look at this one. Wow, beautiful. So nice, and look at the feathers. What, this is, and blue's our favorite color too. <gasps> what a blue dream, guys. <laughs> Gorgeous. Thank you, Milo's Flowers. This was a surprise delivery, guys. Just like, so kind, this flower company says roses are red violets are blue yeah. we're sending our love and these flowers to you we hope these flowers add an extra touch to your lovely days may you continue to bloom and inspire hearts oh thank you all right amare team thank you so much yay food was delicious yay so guys be sure to check out amare on social media amare la cucina on social media if you also want to have Yes. Uh, a catering party for your place, an event. And because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay. Salamat. Okay guys, here's the big day. They're going to uproot that bamboo and this golden bamboo. They're gonna plant it somewhere outside and they're gonna replace it with brand new trees and plants. Oh man, the birds are going to love destroying the new the newcomers. Oh, it's beautiful. This is Podocarpus. It's known as plum uh, plum pine. And guys, look. These birds are waiting. Clara's waiting to get onto that tree and start destroying it. So are they. And so are they. But we're going to cover this with like a mesh for now to protect it. And then after we film our house tour reveal, uh, we'll, have, we'll allow the birds to go at the tree. And of course, before it dies, we relocate it back outside. Haha, <laughs> birds. <laughs> they can't get it. It's raining now. And they're enjoying the shower. Yes. Bathe, my dragons, bathe. Oh my gosh, guys, look. <gasps> you know what this is? This is a termite nuptial flight. And not just any termite nuptial flight. This is the nuptial flight of the fungus growing termites. Now, if you follow the Ants Canada channel, you guys know that I'm keeping fungus growing termites. 
And it's this, Macrothermes gildis is the scientific name. And they're so unique because from their nests, they grow these mushrooms. They're called termite mushrooms. And we humans harvest these termite mushrooms and we eat them. And we can't grow these termite mushrooms in a lab or like in a farm, like most mushrooms that we eat. We actually have to harvest them from the nests of these termites. Isn't that crazy? Look at how many, they're everywhere. It's insane, anywhere where there's light, they are flying. And guys, I caught some, I caught more. <gasps> now what's happening here in this termite nuptial flight is something really special because these um, are all kings and queen termites, right? And they are virgins, but tonight they choose the mate of their life and they get married. They actually go through this ritualistic dance somewhere on the ground and then they go off to found their own termite colonies for life as in the king and queen are bonded and paired for life which could be up to i don't know tens of years 20 years i'm not sure what the lifespan of a macrothermes gilvis termite queen is but it's many years isn't that great termites are actually one of the few truly monogamous species in the animal kingdom that we know of Married for life. Find your life partnered, oh termites. Go, get married. All right, everybody's in the pool. Hi guys. Hello. They're having beer. Oh, there's Melody. Hi Melody. Oh my gosh, damning termites. Oh, gamo gamo, they call it in Filipino. Look, oh no, like a lot of dead ones. Guys, they're literally everywhere. This is their night. Guys, this is also a feast for insect eating animals. I'm sure bats right now are having a feast. All kinds of lizards everywhere are having a feast. Look at that, look at them, all trying to get in the house. And guys, look, some are actually successful, but not too worried because these termites are not exactly the wood damaging type. So what they do is when the workers arrive, they actually go and they collect um, pieces of rotting wood, uh, like rotting logs and stuff, and then they use that to grow their mushrooms. They use it to fertilize their mushroom gardens, which the termites eat. The termites actually grow mushroom combs, like fungus combs, and that's what they eat. They're actually farmers. It's really, really neat. You guys should check out our termite series on the Ants Canada channel. It's really fascinating. Man, look, wow. Good morning. They're in the pool this morning. <laughs> it's looking great. Guys, look. The birds are trying their best to pick at the leaves that are sticking out of the net. So I actually had an idea because of this. What happens if we wrapped each of these trees with some wire mesh so that leaves could bloom from these trees or plants but the parrots will only be able to peck and chew at the sticks and leaves that emerge outside of the mesh while the plant will still be able to have some leaves inside so that the entire plant survives because when you barb all the leaves off a plant obviously it dies because it needs, you know, to absorb sun and they need it for photosynthesis, etc. But maybe this is a viable solution to keep, you know, trees alive inside the aviary while giving the birds an opportunity to do their thing and chew the leaves and chew the branches. What do you think? I think eventually the leaves would like bloom past and outside of the mesh and completely cover the mesh so that we won't be able to see it. Like the mesh won't be visible, I think, if enough leaves are growing through it. I don't know, what do you guys think? I mean, I'm pretty sure they find this very entertaining, like having to figure out how to get the leaves inside. It's like a puzzle. So it's kind of good enrichment. Look at them. Uh. One of the conures is not interested at all. Alrighty guys, so it is a Saturday today, which means it's a busy 
Workday for the Ants Canada channel. Editing this um, week's Ants Canada episode for the channel, which uploads tonight um, at 8 p.m. Philippine time. Um, and so I'm going to end the vlog here, guys. Um, RJ's family is, uh, they're amazing. There's a lot of them. They're just very simple. They are very family oriented. And, you know, it's, a huge milestone to hit 50 years of marriage right guys so um, it's really special to have them here at the Mabu High Squad farmhouse now you guys have met RJ's family as well um, they're gonna spend the next few days here and uh, yeah it's really great to see RJ and his family make memories because that's why we built this place right uh, to host our loved ones and friends so Mabu High Squad if you enjoyed this episode be sure to hit the like button as it really helps us a lot. It lets YouTube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences. And if you haven't yet, do hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mabu High Squad. We will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you for the support and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. Mm -hmm.